Hi, I'm here in Malta with a really nice view to the coastline of Malta out of my window. So I'm taking the opportunity to shoot a very short video and show you how my one of my apps, the Digital Bearing Compass app in the version 2.0 works. Uh, my app is constantly improved, so the chances are good that when you see this, when you watch this video, uh, there will be additional features implemented in the app. But however, the basic functionality will remain the same. So when you watch this video, you have will have a general idea what you can do with the app and how it works. Uh, what you will not see in the video is the calibration process of the gyros and the magnetic sensors. Uh, like many people, I used a magnetized keyboard. So, and it's needless to say uh, that it completely dis disturbs the sensors. And so after I started the app, uh, a completely wrong direction was shown at the beginning and it takes some time uh, until everything calibrates and then until you get the correct bearing. Uh, this all is not a uh, fault of the app, uh, but this is the way these sensors in the iPad work. And uh, unfortunately we have to live with this at the moment, but I think in future devices, uh, the sensors will become better and better. So very soon uh, we will have not have this problem anymore. Okay, now I will uh, switch to the uh, screen capture mode and will continue to show you how the app works. So now I'm starting my app and immediately the beautiful coastline of Malta appears. And on the app, some information you see on the left side, uh, on the upper side, uh, the magnetic bearing where I'm looking at the moment, the true bearing, uh, below the pitch and the bank information of the device. So you can see if I tilt the uh, device, this changes. Uh, and below this, the latitude and longitude and the altitude. The altitude is four meters. This is obviously not correct, not completely correct. Um, but uh, that act, this is what the actual GPS information of the device uh, delivers. I can change the altitude information to be in feet when I uh, change this switch here below the feet meter display. And now you can see now I have an altitude of 12 or 13 feet, slightly above mean sea level. Uh, what I can do also is I can change the color of the writing so um, it is better readable for different lighting conditions. Uh, like for instance I can press on this day night button which is at the center of the lower part of the screen and here I have the writing in black. When I press again, I have it in white. And when I press here once again, I'm at the initial color of red. So you can change the color according uh, to daylight conditions. Uh, now I will look for some nice uh, landmarks where I can uh, set my bearings. For instance, here, uh, slightly to the east uh, is a kind of casino or a hotel and now I will set the bearing number one here and immediately you can see on the right upper edge uh, the information of bearing one displays it has a heading of 096 this is magnetic and a pitch of minus one degree so I'm uh, standing here at the balcony of the hotel so I have to tilt the device slightly downward uh, to put the cross in the center of the screen to this landmark and so I have a negative bearing. For the second bearing I can, for instance, take this little beach here and I press now save bearing number two and now the information of the second bearing appears at the right upper edge. I will change now to map view and you will see the two bearing lines of the two bearings are uh, displayed on the map. Uh, bearing number one is in red. Uh, this was this casino or hotel and bearing number two, the beach is in blue. Uh, what I can do now is 
I can add a fix. Uh, let's see how we do this. On the lower left corner, there's a button which is called Add Fix. And when I press this, uh, the information is displayed. Tap on the map to set a fix. I will now zoom in a little bit and for instance put a fix on this uh, Dragonia Casino here uh, when I press here the, when I tap on the screen uh, the fix mark is displayed and the information about the fix is displayed on the left upper corner of the screen so the bearing to the fix which I have set is uh, 38 degrees and the distance to the fix is 300 45 meters, 350 meters approximately. I can tap on this button on the lower part of the screen again, so uh, I will not change anything when I tap on the screen again. And then I go back to the camera view, and now the information of the fix is also displayed on the right side of the screen. Uh, also the distance, also the magnetic bearing now, to the fix and there is another line which is difference to the fix uh, this is the difference of angle between my actual direction of view and the direction to the fix so when i want to find uh, the fix which i've set on the map view uh, in the camera view i have to turn the device until this difference is showing zero and uh, then i'm pointing the cross into the direction of the fix which I've set, which is this little beach here. Uh, what I can also do is I can uh, remove all the information when I press the reset button at the lower part of the screen, uh, then all the information is gone and I can continue to uh, shoot new pair to set new bearings or find a new fix. Okay, this ends this short introduction to my app. I hope you have a general idea uh, what, the, what you can do with the app and how it works at the moment. Uh, as I wrote on my Facebook page, uh, I plan a lot of new features will be, which will be implemented over time. So stay tuned and uh, maybe one of these days a new version with a new feature will appear on the app store thank you for watching uh, the video up to this point and have fun with my app bye